Y'all know my love for bromeliads. And I am in a really cool bromeliad place. Check it out. First, we got these big, chunky imperialis that are just huge. And then we got, look how bright pink these are. Oh, my. Oh, and those back there. Wow. So many cool bromeliad varieties over here. Look at this stripy leaves. Dark leaves. And this is one of the coolest, like, mixed areas of bromeliads. Look how big these are. Tanner's loving it too over there. The girls, mm, they're just relaxing. Uh, hello. Look at that. Okay, there's some weeds growing in here, but those will clean up. Oh, I just got my leg cut. Look at this thing. This is so cool. It's bromeliads as far as I can see. Okay, I love this plant, and they had some uh, bonsais of it because it makes a wonderful bonsai. This is Portulacaria afra, which is a dwarf bonsai or dwarf jade. Oh, it just started raining. What the heck? Where did this come from? What? Okay, that rain lasted for like 10 seconds, and now it's done. Um, back to bromeliads. I was going to tell you about the different Portulacaria afras that they have, but I'm back on bromeliads again. Look at this. Look at those blooms. Those are like fire hot. Okay, back to the porch of the Carius. So we got this one that has kind of a brown stem, small golden leaves. We've got the variegated leaf, reddish brown stem. We've got the semi variegated, red stem, golden leaf. They've got so many varieties of dwarf jade. They even have trailing varieties over here. You can kind of see why so many people use these as bonsai because this one is not even trimmed. It looks like it was maybe cut once in its lifetime. It's got a beautiful root flare down there. It's got a nice fat tapering trunk, small leaves with a little bit of trimming and wiring. This would be a spectacular little bonsai for very little effort. 